Liverpool get one of the fixtures of the season then underway. Liverpool unbeaten at home in all competitions since January. The last team to win at Anfield, Manchester United. Can they do so again today for the fourth consecutive season? Edwin van der Sar, his first experience of this fixture, as indeed his opposite number, Jose Reina, in the Liverpool goal. Crouch. That's a good touch from the big man. And that's Gerard powering forward. And again, Van der Sar acted as the sweeper there. That's great goalkeeping, Steve. That's great goalkeeping again. Gerard penalised in the end for the challenge on well, Van der Sar. Well, you can't blame Gerard. He's got to go for the ball, and it's right on the edge of the 18-yard line. The goalkeeper can't use his hands. It's a good ball through as well. I mean, the goal he's done tremendous there to come and get clear that. That's excellent goalkeeping. That's brave goalkeeping as well. He knows he's going to get a bang. To be fair, so does Steven Gerrard. Plenty for Gerrard to aim for. He's going to do what Ronaldo does for United and put it in that area. In it goes. All the way through and right across the face. Gave me a little bit of a fright there, but it gives you a fright. I thought, is nobody going to play that? Is that going to go in at the far corner? I mean, to be fair, the goalkeeper's there anyway. Is the goalie expected one of his defenders to get it? There was a wicked curl at the end, wasn't yes, there? Yes, there was. Rafa Benitez, 72nd game in charge of Liverpool today. Looking for his 38th victory. He's yet to beat United as Liverpool manager. Ronaldo again. Foul on Rooney. Yeah, it's a push. Now it's an interesting situation at the other end from a free kick. Well, there's Mr Rooney or Mr Ronaldo going to hit this. Finham was the offending Liverpool player, 29-year-old. Jose Reina has organised his wall. It's going to be Van Nistelrooy, and Reina took that body behind the ball. Yes, yeah, can be a little bit awkward sometimes for goalkeepers then. Bounce in front of you. Good challenge by Alan Smith. Then by Scholes. Oh, oh referee, dear me. Well, Crouch got a bit excited there, I don't know what his problem is. Well, I think Crouch accepted the challenge. I don't think he was looking for the free kick. Well, a big moment from a contentious free kick decision. It's Xavi Alonso over the wall and over the bar. Well, the wall's done its job. Ninety seconds of the first half to go. Every Liverpool player, incidentally, back inside their own half at the moment. Ferdinand trying to offer an extra man. What a good ball. Van Nistelrooy, chance to the chip. Oh, dear me. You're unlucky, Rud. He's done everything right except the last thing. Great play by Rio Ferdinand. Sees him there, puts him in. The goalie comes out. Oh, the goalie hesitates, doesn't he? He just overhit it. Oh, Clearest opportunity on. by far. I think he'd be disappointed, Rud. The manager can't believe it. Goals, looking for Rooney down the middle. He's been penalised, Wayne Rooney. Uh, he did push him, he didn't need to push him, because I'll tell you something, I think Carragher was struggling. They try to get that wee bit of advantage there, Wayne, by just giving them a little nudge. I don't think it's necessary, Steve, because I think Carragher was struggling anyway. But as I say again, easy when you're up here. It wasn't that much of a touch, you know. Stephen Warnock, decent ball, well cut out by Ferdinand, Crouch was waiting behind him. Oh, right behind him, right behind him. And he's well he this into the box, Warnock, with a great deal of pace in it, hoping it can get by Rio, it doesn't. Now Alonso. O'Shea's header, straight to Gerrard, now John Arnarisa. And Gerard got in to make the header, and thankfully it was off target, got in front of O'Shea. 
Yeah, it's a hard ball for John to direct it towards her, and he's just looking for power, but it goes to Gerard, and he's straight into the box after it. He gets it, but thankfully no direction on it. Well, we know how good he is at getting in the box, Gerard. So as I say, the 43rd time that he's locked horns with Liverpool in his United managerial career. And he's only lost 12 of them. Crossfield from Sylvester. Comfortable for Warnock. Now Alonso. Garcia. Gerard looks up, went for goal. First save of the match required from Edwin van der Sar, if any note. I'll tell you something, Steve, as well, that ball's all over the place. Watch this ball swerve, Steve. He hits it well, Steve, and Gerard. We know how good he is out there. A little turn on it. This is van der Sar's view of it. Good save by the goalkeeper. Animated Rafa Benitez on the touchline. Pongo. There they are again, and Gerard just got away from Keane, and he's played in Luis Garcia, and that went right across the face of goal. Well, I think the angle was too much, Steve, and I think that's a cross rather than a shot at goal. I think this is a cross. I mean, the angle's a bit tight for me, does well, Gerard. He'd love to get a goal, Steve. Sissoko has really been one chance per team. Gerard on the ball here has had the one for Liverpool, which Van der Sar saved. He's got his cross in. Luis Garcia! Well, I'm surprised at players, Steve, do you know that? There's only one way Steven Gerrard's going to go, and that's bring it on his right foot. Because down his left foot, he's not going to be able to cross it. And we'll let him get it on his right foot. And the cross comes in and could easily get in the net. Animated managerial figures. Both, of course, have won the European Cup now for their respective teams. Well, it's the first time in 11 Premiership meetings this fixture hasn't provided a winner. It's now back-to-back -back Premiership draws for Alec Ferguson. Nothing to choose between the two today. Edwin van der Sar with one very good save to deny Steven Gerrard and his fellow Dutchman at the other end, Ruud van Nistelrooy, with the one chance for United on the stroke of half-time when he just clipped it over Jose Reina, but also over the crossbar. It was a very tight game, and it is on as even, the very first nil-nil between Liverpool and United since the Premiership began.